I represent him for the old folks, the bold folks, the trailblazers that had nothing but cards and dice. These baby video game masters that can sit and cry cause we were skinning oaks before you was a gleam your daddy's Teens, fellow cyber dogs, fellow minecrafters, and fellow mind squatches all over the world. This is Delacaba with Delacaba Presents Let's Play Minecraft 1.8. One hardcore, and we are here with our next episode, and we are gonna see what it is that we have been hard at work on. But first, I would like to say hello with a Minecraft high five with a stone shovel in your face. Whoosh! Alrighty, let us see what we have been up to, cause guys, I have been busy. Now you know me, I cannot play only 20 minutes of Minecraft. So in the time period between the last 20 minutes that I showed you guys and now, I have been hard at work. And quite frankly, feeling pretty successful. I have landscaped out my area here. And as you can see, I have put in a double fence system for protection. Let's come on down over this way. You can see all the horses are up here now because I have completely removed the well and uh, put in a uh, nice enclosure here so that we don't have to worry about anything coming out of there or going in there including villagers and let me just kind of get around over here and show you guys so here's how the situation goes since it was going to be mind-numbingly boring to, for you guys to watch me dig you know like 500 blocks of dirt and then come and put 500 blocks of dirt down. And incredibly boring to have you guys watch me chop tree after tree after tree after tree over here on the other side of the river. Because if we come over here, you'll see now that all those trees that were up on that side of the river are gone. So it would have been incredibly boring for you guys to watch me dig all the dirt and put the blocks down. It would have been just as boring for you guys to watch me chop all these logs and make the fences. So I thought I would get that part done. And uh, these are all, every horse here is one that had fallen down that ravine. So you can see we've got three of them here. There's this lovely guy here and these guys here. And I have tamed all of them so that they are rideable. Two of them are really fast and one appears to be a good jumper. And then of course our burro. And this guy right here. So you can see a lot of horses had ended up wandering into that ravine and falling down. And that's the biggest reason why I covered it over. Because it would give us a little more room here at our settlement and also allow us to, to protect the horses from falling down there. But in the process of cutting all this wood, I discovered something interesting over here. So let's go over here and take a look at it. As you can see, everything is doubled up here. Going out is easy. Getting back in is difficult. That's, that's the important part. But what I found out as I was cutting all these trees is that over here on the other side of the creek, this ravine continues. Check this out. And I can see some iron down there. So I thought I would start today's episode by going down into this ravine. Carefully, 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 carefully. All right. Head down into here and see exactly what we've got here. Wow, this is cool, guys. Ooh, do I have any picks with me? I do. Okay. As you can see, I've made some paper. Our uh, one villager trades uh, emeralds if we give him paper. I'm really hoping there's going to be more surface iron than that. But I thought I would come over here and see what this business over here was all about. Interesting. You know, here's a question. I've got a question. I wonder if we would be able to dig a passage through to the ravine on the other side. So I'm going to give that a try in the hopes that A, we're, we'll uh, make it through by going underneath the river, which I think would be pretty cool. And number two, potentially find some iron. So let's see. Because I do need some cobble. And this, I think, would be an excellent way to just get some cobble and see if we've got something interesting going on here. Knock that out of there. So far, so good. Okay. Ha, ah, iron. 
and here we go because you know I, I haven't really done any mining up to this point simply because um, I've been too busy getting the village protected and this is just exactly what I was hoping for that we'd run into some iron on the way through while we're exploring this here so I'm gonna keep going straight across because it would it would please me if we actually broke into the ravine on the other side because there you go look at that that's awesome guys that is awesome you can see I, I had to build a platform up in order to rescue one horse who was stuck up on that ridge right there but this is right underneath our village here where I originally jumped down and where I was keeping my burrow so that is uber cool I like that kind of a little secret passage here in the corner neato I like it in fact I like it enough I'm gonna actually put a door here how about that there you go sweet so I think while I'm at it I think it's time to to do a little mining do a little mining and see if we can if we can come up with a bit more iron we got eight there let's just uh dig down a bit see what we hit i'm not really geared or prepared and so i'm not going to go too far this is more just kind of a what the, in mining they call this a sounding hole it you you sink a shaft to test and see what you come up with so i'm just curious to see hoping we hit a little more iron but I thought it would be pretty darn boring for you guys to have to sit and watch me dig dirt and chop wood you know chop wood carry water that's uh, old book on uh, Taoism and uh, talks about you know the the type of things we have to do every day to to get through life you know do the things that are required and chop wood carry water it's one of those things we got to do here in the game but it doesn't mean it's at all interesting or exciting for other people to watch so that's why i decided to just hold off and come back once i had gotten that stuff done so let's just dig down a little bit deeper here we're not hitting any kind of caves or anything so far which that's okay because if if I get down to like you know diamond level and we still haven't hit any caves it just means we can do some some very safe mining I have been slowly but surely prepping for us to be able to get some multiplication going on with our villagers. I've been making sure that the uh, uh, was it sugar cane has been been propagated, so that we'll be able to trade paper for emeralds. Ah, yes, indeedy do. Looky there. Now, I don't remember if we can mine this with stone or not. I think we actually need an iron pick to mine that. But that tells us what level we're at. All right. I'm going to head back up. But there you go. So there is some lapis. We haven't hit any kind of caverns or heard any sign of anything down here. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll head back up. I'll have to gear up in order to come back down here and mine properly. But I thought that little bit of exploration could be interesting. And I especially like this, that we've been able to uh, connect the ravine underneath the river here. I like that. It's kind of like the secret escape route, you know? Let's head back up here and see what we can do about getting geared up. There we go. Very cool. Beautiful sunset. And 
rather than sleeping through the night, I think this time I am going to stay up and we're going to see what we can do. Hello. Okay, so we're going to need to get our iron in the furnace. One of the things I did was I, I cooked myself up some charcoal. Since uh, coal I'm going to be trading to uh, the one villager for emeralds, I figured charcoal was the way to go. I caught a, a fishing, I caught another saddle, as well as a wooden bowl and a couple of sticks. Um, anything else interesting happened? You can see we did a lot of fishing. Puffer fish there and some other goodies. But... Huh. Oh, there they are. I was going to say, I thought I had two more iron ingots left yet. Cool deal. Let's get this set to go. And I guess what I'll do is I'll invest it into iron tools. I'll invest it into an uh, iron pick. I think we'll, we will do stone picks for general digging just because, you know, they're, they're more cost effective at this point. But we need enough iron to build an anvil. Enough iron to get some armor on. I see you out there, Skelly. Hiding under the tree. You think you're sneaky? But as you can see, things have gotten a lot more quiet in the neighborhood here since I got the fences up and, and got things lit up. So, looks like we're not under any kind of zombie siege tonight. Let's go back in and see how our iron is doing. But yeah, I just cannot play 20 minutes of Minecraft. That's that's like eating one chicken, chicken McNugget, you know? It's like, just can't do it. Gotta have them all. Alright, so... Anything we can do with what we got here? That's all pretty, pretty plain. But okay, so we now have 10 iron. Excuse me, guys. The villagers seem to have adapted to my presence. There we go, get her some iron pick. And then a couple of stone shovels. And I'm going to do a couple of stone picks. Like I say, they're just more cost effective. And I think I'll do a stone axe just in case we, we end up mixed up in uh, some abandoned mine works down there. Dump these extra goodies off here. And like I say, since I'm going to be uh, trading the villagers for the coal we're going to leave the coal here because I've got plenty of torches as you can see and leave this extra iron and I'm just pulling out these uh, couple of plants just because I can just come out here and stick them in the ground get a little more a little more room Go and get those down there. As you can see, I had already started planting some flowers over here. This is decorative, but actually it's more about making sure I've got materials at hand inside. There we go. There. That. there. And you there. There we go. That'll make us a little room in our chest. I need to to build some more chests, but I also need to make my house. I mean, it's great that they have their, their little houses here, but I need my house. And what I'm trying to decide is whether to build it inside the fence here or whether to build it outside the fence. I think if I built it inside the fence, the doors in my house would count as village doors, and that would get us started with uh, the process of villager reproduction. You know, once we have a sufficient number of doors, of course, then... From that point, if we, uh, you know, trade with them, we should get more villagers. And what we need is a farmer. We've got a blacksmith, and we've got a butcher, and we've got a priest. 
but we do not have a farmer, which means they're not harvesting and planting the crops the way they would. But let's head back down here and collect that lapis and see what else we can find. Yeah, I hear you coming in behind me. Think I don't know you're there. Alright, let's hop down here and see what we can do. Wonderful. Get us this lapis. Oh, excellent. There's more than just the one. Magnificent. Now, rebuild our steps here. go down this way. Oh, excellent. There we go. A little more lapis. More lapis. Sweet deal. Oh, sounds like we got a passage. Clear a little room here and get some light up so we can see. But from the sound of the bat and the skelly, sounds like somewhere right here we've got a passage. figure out which direction I'm hearing it from. I'm in serious need of some flint anyway, so I figure I'll just dig this out and see if it reveals it. That's why I brought junk shovels. Definitely gather this. Yeah, I hear running water too, so we must be right near something. we go guys I poke my head up here whoa not cool she's gonna hit us with every potion on the planet or did she just die no 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 die 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 <laughs> Ooh, we got iron though and gold oh sweet guess where we are guys we're down at diamond level Oh, man. Into the lava. No, 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 no. Running, 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 running. Got to pull her around the corner. There we go. Go down, you. There. Whew. I don't know what it is about the witches. I guess they're really kind of an unknown element for me. I'm not exactly sure how dangerous they truly are. And so I always kind of freak out. But guys, look at all the gold and the lava. Did I bring my bucket with me? I sure did. Awesome. So, wow. This, this looks pretty extensive. Let's get this lit up before we get company we don't appreciate. Now we're talking. Let's see if we can get the iron and other materials we need, and I am not at all heartbroken that this is a dead end. Saves me some hassles. Batty, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, so this is where we came out. I gotta make sure I mark that very, very clearly. There we go. Get us some iron. Five iron and some gold. Wow, lots of gold. This makes me happy. More iron, awesome. I was so busy running for my life, I didn't did not see it. it. Looks like there's more iron down there too. Ah, <sighs> it is so nice when you can kind of get it all happening in one fell swoop, you know. All right, I better deal with that though or we'll end up in it sure shooting there we go the 
Bye. Alright. Yeah, haven't spotted any diamonds, but that's okay. Right now, I'm happy with iron. I've been spending all my time getting those villagers safe and... <sighs> Good deal. We've got 27 iron, which is enough to make a full set of iron armor now. Let's go check this out over here. Collect this gold. <coughs> Excuse me. Irons! Make sure I watch my step here. I don't want to take an unscheduled trip. I'm going to get up. Oh, look at that. Didn't even see that iron down there. I know that's a very foolish mining right over my head like that. But it's about the only way I could do it. See, there's the gravel I expected to drop on my head there, so I lucked out. Oh, so happy to see all this iron. So very wonderful. And more iron. Wow. Awesome. Okay, let's see how we're doing now. We have got 31 iron and 6 gold. go stop that flow get us some redstone this makes me happy because with the redstone and and the gold I'll be able to make a clock and that's a good deal be able to tell what's going on outside while we're down here all right oh I'd love to run into a couple of diamonds guys that'd sure make our lives a whole lot easier a whole lot easier. Come on, get up there. There you go. Get this gold. I was kind of hoping it'd reveal something behind it, but I guess not. I'm really curious where that's coming from. If that's just like a lone block there, if that actually goes up to something. Kind of scary stuff here. Wow, guys, this is really extensive, and I'm about out of time, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this last iron here and head back up. Yeah, I am going to grab these couple of iron that are here in this corner, and I am going to head back up. Oh, it was only one, huh? I'm going to head back up and... Uh, get this tucked away because I don't want to lose what the progress we've just made. That's fantastic. We've got an excellent place to come and explore some more. And like I say, I like to try to keep my episodes to 20 minutes. And since I just cannot play 20 minutes of Minecraft, I mean, that's just like not, so not me. I'm going to leave that be and I'll do some more work around the place to entertain myself until it's next time for us guys to get together. So I'd love to thank you for joining me here in this interesting little connected ravine situation we found neato neato and we're gonna get up here and get this around a cooking and then i got some decisions to make gotta decide whether to turn it into armor which if you guys have watched my other series i'm sure you know that that's generally my preference or to turn it into something more than that so we'll head back on up because that sure works out good all right, and in you go. Irons, 33 iron. That's enough to get something done. And a little more coal, and some gold, and a little bit of redstone. Fantastic. All right, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, Delacaba, for Delacaba Presents. Let's play Minecraft 1.8. It, we're playing a hardcore map. Remember what that means. If I mess up and I die, that's it. It is over and no respawning. 
So stick with me while I have my adventures, because this is all pretty tame right now, but you know once I get geared up, I'm definitely going to go into it face first, just like I always do. So in the meantime, here's a Minecraft high five with some lapis in your face. I'm out. Peace.